Hello guys, welcome back to our channel World Mechanics again. Today we're going to show you how to do an oil change on a Chrysler PD Cruiser. It's the same procedure for uh, the 2.4 non-turbo engine, so it will be about the same from 2001 all the way until 2009 when they quit producing those. So the first thing that you need to do is open the hood and you will need to remove the oil cap on the, on the top right there. So when we drain the oil, you just leak freely and the vacuum will not keep it going slow. Okay, right there. This is the oil, 5W30 Castrol. That's what we, we've been using in it. And that's the air filter made by Fram PH 3614. And according to the manual, this PD Cruiser takes five cords and this is a five cord jack. Okay, the first thing that you need to do, you need to go on the passenger side and jack the passenger side up. Always put a safety stand underneath it because you'll be lying under the vehicle. And now right there, we need 13 millimeter wrench or socket. And right there on the back is the oil plug, right there. So you need to go and take the oil plug off. Make sure that if the oil is hot, if you rent the car for a while, it's going to be hot. It might even burn. So always be careful. Okay, so that's the first step. We're going to leave it to drain for a while. Okay, we're done draining the oil and now you need to pull your oil plug and get it tight. Do not forget to get it tight because if you leave it loose to tighten it later, you might forget and you there is a chance that you lose it, the oil will leak out of the vehicle and you need a new engine. Okay, next thing that we need to do, we'll need to replace the oil filter which is right there on the back behind the oil pan. You can see that black thing is the oil filter and we're going to use the oil filter pliers to get it loose because this one is stuck pretty good. And it's always a messy job to take the oil filter. On a PD Cruiser it's not so much because it's horizontal. Right there. Okay, now we get the new oil filter and what you need to do, you need to get it out of the box and right there on that rubber seal where it's contacting the oil filter housing, you need to apply some of the clean oil on the rubber. This way you will be able to install it properly and it will not get stuck there after driving it for 3000 miles because if you do not apply oil that rubber gets stuck really bad. And now you just go ahead and install the oil filter on the housing right there. And again, make sure you get it tight. You, you get it tight by hand really good because if you use tools, you'll get it too tight or you might punch a hole in it. Okay, that's good. Perfect, right there. After that, you will need to remove the jack stand so we can take the car down all the way because when we add the oil and we measure the oil level with the dipstick we want to make sure that the car is level so we get an accurate reading. You will most likely need to use a funnel right here so you do not make a mess and add the whole five cords and we're going to start the vehicle after that. Okay, now do not forget to install the oil cap on. Always make sure you do not forget that. And what we're going to do, pull the dipstick and measure the level right now before we start the vehicle. So you need to wipe it off first and then put the dipstick, pull it out. And as you can see, now we're above the maximum right there. But we need to start it again because the oil filter is pretty good size and it's empty. So after we start it and let it run for about 30 seconds to 1 minute, 
we will check the oil level again to make sure that it is in the proper level. Okay, let it sit for about a minute after you start the vehicle and check the level again. And as you can see, it's to the full mark, so it's perfect. It takes only five quarts. Thank you guys for watching us. If you have any questions, let us know. Please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for about five new videos every week.